Hello there and welcome back. Today's post is exciting because I have the honor of being Spellbinders featured designer on Spellbinders blog. The cool thing is, is if you go to their blog at spellbinderspaperarts.com, click the link at the bottom of their post, you can win all the dies I'm using on today's project. That's five sets of dies. And don't forget to visit Linda's Works of Heart, my blog, for a list of all the supplies I use with links. Let's get started. This picture is just to show you what paper I use with each die. Now I'll list each die as we go along with the names across the bottom of the screen. When you combine these two dies together, the end result, beautiful, very, very elegant. Here's a close-up of the little silhouette die. She has that butterfly in her hair that you really can't see in any of my other pictures. What I should have done was cut and embossed her again with some decorative cardstock and glued it on top of this one here. But that could be a future card. Cut and emboss the grand rectangle. Now place the same cardstock over the rectangle you just cut. I mark with a pencil where I want to cut using the paper cutter to create a second layer. Then repeat the last two steps again for a third layer. Now with a distress at all, distress the edges and use 3D foam squares between each of the layers. With the paper cutter, I cut some decorative cardstock to fit up under my die. So I'm going to put this all together and be back in a few. Well, that's it for me today, so until next time, bye now.